Come out to the box. Come out to the box. Yeah. Hello YouTube, cheers, and welcome to the basement. My name is Bruce Lively. And I'm the smokeless B-Boy Slim. Oh, well the basement is the first daily hip hop debate show. Every Tuesday through Friday, we bring you the internet's most intriguing debates on hip hop culture and the world around it. Today we ask, is T.I. correct in saying black celebrities should not meet with Trump for any reason, period, full stop. It's Wednesday, and the reason we didn't have a show yesterday is because someone in my family had gone through a house fire. They lost everything, almost everything, but they didn't lose their lives, so we're happy for that. It's been a trying time. Uh, we ask all of you for your support and your prayers. But I'm back today because we have an obligation to our viewers to provide you with what you may need to get through your day, and that's why we're here. Maybe to give you a laugh, maybe to offer you something to learn, or maybe that's a distraction. And we take that job seriously. We take the show seriously. So I'm back. I wasn't going to do it today, but I decided that I'm back. Good to have you back, bro. Appreciate it. With that being said, we on that Trump, boy. Let go. So here we have <clears throat> where T.I. says... Under no circumstances should any of us be taking pictures or, or being seen with them because we're, we're being made to be a fool. We're being used, take advantage, taken advantage of, and, you know, just downright, you know, being made a mockery of. And I think he's very accurate when he says, you know, if you look at it and you break it down on what Trump has done, it's strategic, mm -hmm. and we're pawns in the chess game that that's being played. It's just gotten out of hand. Talking about calling Steve Harvey. Well, get some of your favorite black entertainers on board, and <clears throat> we should fall right in line. Yeah. And oh. so, I think it's disgusting, man. I think it's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. You would think that in 2017, propping up black celebrities would be beneath somebody. Like, he's got to find a more creative way to get the black vote. Nope. I bet you it still works, too. I bet you it still works. We just watched the two ladies stumping for Trump. Remember them? Oh, man. That's why we have to be here, because if that was the only voice, and that's how they see us, no wonder they're laughing all the way to the bank. But I said, this is going to be a short one. I got a few things to say. You guys stay tuned for Friday. The inauguration of of the President of the United States, Mr. Donald J. Trump, is on Friday. And we're going in. This is just a little teaser. There's a little taste. Okay? But, is T.I. correct? What you think, bro? Yeah, he's correct. <laughs> he's correct. Now, there is an opposition. This is a debate show. Of course we have an opposition. There's two sides to every story. But I'm going to start like this. If you're a senator, if you're a congressman, if you're advisor to the president or a senator or a congressman, if you run a government agency or program, and even less to a lesser degree, if you run a charity that is given government dollars, you can go visit Donald J. Trump. As a matter of fact, every time he calls you, you need to be there. You know why? Because you have power. You have power legislatively. You have power uh, in effectiveness of the running of the government in some way. If you are a celebrity, the only power you have is optics. You cannot go. You cannot go. 
It is not your job. Your job is what happens in front of that camera. Believe it or not, and it's not demeaning, it's a job that, that is necessary. It's the reason why it works, right? When, um, when the Seahawks stand up. It's the reason why it works when, um, what's his name, the San Francisco quarterback sat down. That's his job. The optics of what's being seen on TV or on internet is more important than anything you could say because you're a celebrity and that's what you're known for. No fault of your own. And it doesn't mean you're not smart. But because Donald J. Trump is the greatest at using optics and using celebrity, he knows exactly what he's doing and he's using you. T.I. said it best. The Willie Lynch theory. You're being used. Steve Harvey, you meant well. I know you didn't go there to be a coon for Trump and you're, not, you're far from that. You do so much more in the community that nobody's forgotten about. And I want us all to remember that. All of the people that were there, except Kanye, have have actual ties to the community that matter. And they didn't go there to be cool. What happened is they ended up being used because they thought that their voice mattered when it doesn't to Donald J. Trump. It doesn't matter to him. He's not listening. Do you think he listened when he sat down with them? Do you think he was listening? What I saw, they sat and talked about Family Feud and The Apprentice. You end up being used because it just looks like there's another black person that black people respect that's okay with Donald Trump. Goes to a second point. It's called legitimizing. What you do when you go there is you legitimize this man as a president. Right. It's the reason why the great, the great Congressman John Lewis, I know him as a civil rights activist, John Lewis. That's where that's where his career means the most to me. He says he will not go to the inauguration, and I bet you he probably wouldn't go to Trump Tower. And if he did, he'd bring a gang of people with him that could change something, that could that could help him legislate, because that's his job. But even him will not legitimize this man as president because of all the reasons he said. I don't want to go too far into it. We have Friday, and it is coming. But these are just a few things, man. What do you think? I think you hit it dead on. I, could, I can't put enough emphasis on it. It does seem strategic. At the same time, it does seem like he's just blatantly mocking us. So, mm -hmm. you know, celebrities of any sort, whether you Steve Harvey that has your own show and, you know, built a career with comedy and, or you know, 2 chains, the rapper, on any level, I don't think that we should play that game. I did vote, however, but I, there was a lot of people that said they wasn't voting. So now, you know, for Trump, I don't see where all of this, you know, I, I guess he you know, continue to play this political game, but all this, you know, fake support for him is coming from there. You know, Steve Harvey's face told the whole story. Yo. Without him saying a word. He was the me, most uncomfortable I ever seen him in all his career. Let me see if I can get that face right. Wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> As a matter of fact, we're gonna try to get you the, 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 the footage for that. But yeah, that's 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 my thoughts about it. Okay, so what about this? This is a debate show. This is hip hop's first debate show. TI, thank you for the question. There's another side. There's an opposition, if you will. If we can't sit down with our enemies, how can we make positive change? There are people asking that would ask that question. I haven't really heard many people say it, but it's been hinted at. And I and I I agree to an extent. You know, what do you say to that? If, if we can't even sit down with our enemies, if you're telling everybody don't go there, don't even sit down with them, how can we influence positive change if we just let him run amok without our input? What was that we was looking at earlier? We was doing our research. He gave mention to we have one or two choices. You could either take the next four years off. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the Daily Show. Right. The Daily Show. Uh great comedian that was playing Steve Harvey, right? Okay, that's right. So 
I, I tend to agree with that. You know, it's not too much we can do at this point. And I, I mean, we I, should take four years and, off. And I and I understand what you say. If you feel that strongly about him not being your president, mm. or you could continue to involve involve yourself and, like you said, sit down with the guy. But understanding his his, his plight, understanding what, what 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 his thing is, and like I said, it seems like we're pawns in his his chess game. So if you if that's you know, you willing in thinking that you can make some change with that, so be it. More power to you. But if not, and those of us who don't uh, choose to, to, get, to get involved and continue to play this political game, where it, obviously we're losing, obviously our voices are, 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 you know, going unheard, then, you know, that's also your choice too. That's also our choice as Americans too. So mm-hmm. sure. I do understand I do understand what you're saying about sitting down with the enemy. I, I you know, until now it Trump was n- neither to me. Trump was neither an enemy or a friend to me. You know. True. It just didn't matter. He made his money and he stayed where he stayed and you know, it, it didn't it's just to now, you know, where he has the the, the, the the position in office to actually affect and, and make decisions that affect my children and affect my family. You know, we take a certain interest in it and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. But like I said, on this end of it, it you, you don't have to participate in, and it doesn't make you any less caring about what's going on in the country or, you know, with the presidency or, or, or inauguration that's getting ready to go on. It doesn't at all. You could be fed up and tired of what with the shenanigans that you see and, and just don't care to partake in it. And that's basically my stance on it now. Like, you know, you see these celebrities that do choose to go and take the picture with them. And like I said, if you look at Steve Harvey's face, that tells the whole story. Mm-hmm. So. I understand that, actually. I mean, and it's sad that it's gone this far. That's not making a change. That's, you know, playing somebody else's game. You're right. You're right. I mean, that, they, these are the facts. It's sad that it's gone this far, but there's a piece of T.I.'s interview or his um, his message that I think is forgotten. He said, not only don't go there, black celebrities, don't go to Trump Tower to meet with this guy, but he said, don't go there unless you bring a John Lewis with you. You see, you alone as a celebrity are just a photo op. That's well, what I'm Lamont trying to tell Hill you. See, I didn't say that. Lamont Hill, you think about the interview? No, 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 no. Uh, Lamont Hill said that on CNN. T.I. actually said that at the end of his interview. Bring John Lewis? Yeah, he said, unless you can bring someone like John Lewis with you. Oh, I didn't even hear that. We'll play that. Not accept any invitation to have any meeting. No matter how positive you think the outcome may be, without understanding, man, people have a very willy lynch agenda, okay? And you being there, being seen with them taking pictures and smiling and being positive, it may seem positive to you, but there's a hidden agenda, man. And you might not know it, but now you have been warned. Do not go in there unless you have a strategy or you with John Lewis or somebody who can represent us. But uh, but yeah, but he said that, and that's that's why I said it again because it could be so easily forgotten amongst all the other truths that he said was bring somebody who can actually make change with you. You see, I don't want you guys to get dejected. I don't want you guys to say forget it for the next four years. This is an option because you don't want to be a part of it. But you can do things outside of the political sphere if you do say forget this. You can donate. You can have your own charities. You can go help the brothers down the street. You can actually help your school system and your local politics. That's the best way to help right now for the next four years if you don't even want to be a part of the crap show. But the other way for these celebs to do it is they can actually meet with people who can make change. Meeting with Trump won't do anything. Meeting with legislators who believe in the things that are against Trump and putting the people on their side is a much bigger way to go about it, in my opinion. So uh, I do see the opposition. If you can't sit down with your enemy, there's no way that you can create positive change or push for it. But you can sit down with your friends 
who have the power to actually make that happen. And I think that's the focus that we need to start with, uh, with these with these celebrities, man. Stop going to visit Trump. Go to visit Lewis. Go to the House. Find some Democrats and some Republicans of a of a darker hue, and go sit with them. Yeah, I think we made our point. We made our point. It's time for y'all to make your point. Is really what it is. Write down there, as usual, in the comment section. What do you think? What do you think? Shout outs. Shout outs. Oh, man, we got a lot. Thank you guys for your comments. Dwayne Haddock says, Nas, Big, and Pac are the best ever, period. Mm -hmm. There's there's nothing we can say to that. There's a whole lot that. of argument out of that. I didn't hear Jay in there anywhere, but... Exactly. You got it. You mm -hmm. get a whole lot of argument out of us. I think Jay should be in there. But I can't, I can't argue that, you know. And it was, of course, you know what that was in response to our most famous show yet, the Nas vs. Big. We appreciate the love. Out there. I mean, not Big, Nas vs. Uh, Jay Z. But we appreciate the love. Uh, we have another person. The Truth Hurts. Uh, the Truth Hurts says, "Check out his Double XL Freshman Beat Challenge. Y'all can do that if you like." Color Concepts LLC Interior Design and Home Improvement. That's actually the person's name. Listen, if y'all want to, to, to get publicity, go down there and get an interview. Go down there and, and we'll show you how to sponsor us. Don't just leave these comments like that, man. That, that's hard, but we're going to shout you out anyway. He says he walked with Tupac before twice. In other words, he met Tupac and had a discussion with him. And he was the realest thug he ever met. And I, I, I can't deny that. You know, personal experience trumps everything. Yeah, so you have you have more insight. We would like to interview you. Come on the show. Talk about your color concepts LLC interior design and home improvement. <laughs> That's all good. Anyway, we thank everybody for the comments. We appreciate the love. Do not miss it. The inauguration is on the twentieth, and we about to go in. I'll be safe out there to the mall. Peace.